Hello everybody, it's Uncle Matt and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. And tonight's bedtime story is Sid Hoff's Danny and the Dinosaur and the Girl Next Door. And this book was written by Bruce Hale, illustrated in the style of Sid Hoff by David Cutting. And this book was copyright in 2017. Here we go. The dinosaur was feeling happy. His best friend Danny was coming to visit him at the museum. Danny was excited, but as Danny left the house, a moving van pulled up next door. A strange car parked behind the van. Danny hoped the new family would be friendly. A girl Danny's age left the car. Hi, she said. My name is Betty. I'm Danny, said Danny. He thought she seemed nice. Do you like museums? he asked. I love museums, said Betty. Danny smiled. He wanted her to meet his friend, the dinosaur. I've got a nice surprise for you, Danny said. Let's take a walk. Danny and Betty walked along. Down the road came a really big dog. Betty hurried across the street. Uh-oh, said Danny to himself. If she's afraid of a big dog, what will she think of a dinosaur? Danny and Betty walked farther. Near the museum, they met a police officer on a great big horse. Can we pet the horse, asked Danny. Go ahead, said the police officer, but Betty wouldn't even get close. Uh-oh, said Danny to himself. If Betty's afraid of a big horse, what will she think of a dinosaur? Danny was worried. He knew Betty wouldn't like his friend the dinosaur, but it was too late to turn back. Danny stalled for time. He showed Betty the Hall of Cavemen. He showed her the Outer Space Hall. Danny even showed Betty the hall of people with funny hats. Where's my surprise? asked Betty. Danny couldn't pull it off any longer. My new friend Betty, said Danny. Meet my old friend, the dinosaur. Would Betty run away in fear? Would she scream? Danny couldn't look. Hello, said the dinosaur, pleased to meet you. The pleasure is mine, said Betty. Danny sighed a huge sigh. He was so relieved. Betty loved the dinosaur's jokes. She rode on his back as they toured the rest of the museum. Betty even got the dinosaur a snack. When it was time to say goodbye, Betty gave the dinosaur a huge hug. Your old friend is good fun, she told Danny. I was so worried you wouldn't like the dinosaur, said Danny, since you don't like big animals. Just then a cat crossed their path. Betty sneezed, ah, ah, choo. I love all animals, she said but I'm allergic to furry ones. Danny smiled. Dinosaurs don't have any fur, he said. They sure don't, said Betty. So now I've got two new friends. That's the end of the story. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story. 
That's all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. Until next time, I'll see you later. Goodbye.